welcome back now in this video we will create another card right down in here and in there simply we will create a material button okay for send the CV resume okay for the job so we will work on that right in this video so let's just start working on that so below this padding you will have padding another okay because we are about to create another card and in here comma take this down as usual padding as in fact we will go with the dot all we will give it to 4.0 and take this down child now we will have that card that I tell you before okay so card in here there we go take this down first we will set the color for that card so colors we will go with the black 54 okay and tag this down child we will do some padding can right in there padding as in fact as usual we will go with us dot all and it's gonna be a head point oh, this time tag this down now child again now we will have a column widget take this down and in there first set the property cross axis alignment because we're gonna set that that at start so cross axis alignment dot start there we go now children take this down first let me just scroll it down in here right in the children first you will have a center widget in here and right in the center first comma in here take this down in here child text widget in here right in the text widget we will say is deadline available that we just created before let me just write it in here there we go with the suggestion okay is deadline available so if the deadline is available write in if in here what we will say we will say write in the string actively Recruiting and here put T instead of R. That's fine. As I told you before, it's going to be simply for sending the CV or resume. You can say that there just the text that we are just writing in here. You guys will notice that whenever we test the app. Now, write an if as you guys can see if is deadline is available we will show that right in if and if is deadline is not available what we will do that in else in here drag it to the left side in here like that so in else we will say deadline passed away okay it's fine in here comma all just fine now let me tell you one more time is deadline available if it's available then write in if we will show that actively recruiting send CV resume and if deadline is not available then write in else as you guys can see we will say deadline passed away for the specific job the we will show right in here as you guys can see okay so I hope you can get the idea now we will run the app and you guys will notice the output so don't worry for that let's move further now let's do some style for that so in here as usual style in here text style in here comma take this down and first we will set the color so right in the color we will say is deadline available then write in if we will show the green color okay colors dot green 
and anything else if the dirt line is not available then we will show the red color okay from here we move that comma because in here we have that else so there is no need of that because it will create an error so that's fine now and in here put the comma so write in the color okay as you guys can see if the deadline is available we will show the green color and if the deadline is not available we will show the red color as simple as that so the green color will be for the actively recurring sand CV resume and the red color can be for the deadline pass away now we will set the font weight we will set it to font weight dot normal and also set the font size we will set it to 16 per comma now if you guys didn't hot load the app first do that I have already hot load the app there is no need of doing it again so I will just simply press the control s there we go actively recurring send CV resume because the deadline for this job I think it was 14 August so the deadline didn't pass away yet that's why in here it's run that okay the deadline is still available that's why it's run that whenever the deadline will be passed then it will run that else okay so there is going to be that then deadline passed away in a right color for now the deadline is still available because there is a time left in that job so that's why in here you guys can see that text okay that's fine I will take this down a little bit so for that what we will do writing the children okay we will set the size box and we will give the height to 10 so it's going to be a little bit down and look more fine add the cons modifier to that also to this add inside and in here also so we add the size box and now just press the control as you guys will notice so it's a little bit down now now let's move further we will create a material button for just sending the CV resume okay as you guys can see right in here for sending that we will create a material button down in here so first I will create some height between that and the text button that we are about to create so right in the middle there will be kind of height so let's go and do that before let's do that okay so below this center widget in here we will say a size box and in here comma let's give the height to 6 add the const modifier press the control s so there is going to be the height now below this size box in here we will have a center widget in here comma take this down when i have the child for the material button in there you will have that okay material button and it's going to take the on press even for now we will leave this empty and later on we will make a method apply for the job simply okay and we will call upon that method right in this on press event so for now just leave this as it is first we will complete the UI design so down in here first we will set the color for that material button okay so the color is gonna be let's go with the blue accent and the elevation will be zero now we will give the shape the shape gonna be rounded with a triangle border that will go with the suggestion and tag this down set the border radius there we go border radius dot circular we will set this to 13 simply for the material button okay in here corner and scroll down right down in here we will say child and we're gonna do some padding as usual padding and in fact we will go with the dot symmetric we will set the vertical to 14 and child gonna have the text for that material button now and the text gonna be simply easy apply now 
you can give whatever you want right in here for the material button that just the tax put comma and style let's do some style for that text textile first we will set the color the color is gonna be let's go with a white put comma and let's set the font red font red gonna be bold so font red dot bold now let's set the font size it's gonna be 14 now we will remove the all yellow line so the code will be clean then add a cons modifier as you guys can see already so there's all the working that we just implement okay now just press the control s and you guys will notice the output and the material button there we go with the material button easy apply now with the blue accent color okay as you guys can see the text easy apply now with the white color and it's kind of bold with the font size 14 just a uh, visual thing as you guys can see okay so right from the next video we will simply write down in this card down in here it will just expand and we will show the upload on that and also the deadline dead okay so we will work on that right in the next video for now this video is getting a little lengthy so we will end this video right here and that's it for this video so see you in the next one